So I just wanted to show an example of going against an extreme dot team and try to show that um, hopefully try to beat this team and show that even though it can look really scary, um, usually it's, it just looks worse than it is. So I'm going in with Martin, who's immune to poison. Um, Aurora to give some attack up. Um, I'm going to be using Cassia because she has a crit rate of over 100. So she's going to be able to deal with any color just fine. Um, there's no red here, so that's also not an issue. I'm using Strybog to give a lot of buffs, hopefully, because the more buffs I can get, um, if that can fill up to 10 spaces, um, I can basically ward off against any incoming ailments because the total number of ailments and statuses is um, you know, equal to 10 as, at maximum. And I'm going to bring Sigil as well, who can give cleanse. And she's also fast. So I'm hoping that this is going to work. And if it doesn't work, we can try again. Okay. So... We can just try to make some matches and um, avoid purples on the other team as much as possible. So I'm just going to match away some purples. It's going to be fairly hard um, to prevent them getting any purples at all especially as they have three Zarkons in a row. But hopefully um, they won't all charge up. Strybog is going to be really annoying because he's going to keep charging them up. And I kind of now wonder if Sigil was such a good idea. Okay, great. So, I've just realized I don't have a healer, which seems a bit silly of me. But hopefully I can get rid of this team fast enough that it doesn't matter. So, I'm going to try for a blue match here. And another blue match here okay and let's get rid of some purples So So Sigil is going to die <laughs> very soon. Um, but I killed Nephra, which is awesome. Um, which Zarkon is the one coming next? So that is the Zarkon coming next. I don't think I'll be able to kill him. But I might be able to kill this one. Okay. So I think I'm, I will get a purple combo here. 
because there's going to be a a yellow at the bottom and then a purple and I think this purple is just going to fall one I hope so I just need to move something that doesn't mess that up there we go So I'm just getting blues to try to charge Aurora up, otherwise it's really going to suck because I'm just going to die. And we still want to get rid of purples. It's okay. Barely hanging on. Um, so I'll get rid of some purples here. And the rest is going to be difficult, yes. I'm going to... Try to force a non-match. Doesn't work so well, but... It's okay. Okay. And if I can get some greens in, that would be nice. Um, just checking out the purple situation. I think it's pretty bad. <laughs> no matter how you look at it. It's going to be a bunch of purples. I'm going to put Strybog even though most of it is just going to be wasted because this way um, it really doesn't matter how many purples they charge up nothing's gonna get through or very little is gonna get through okay so now we have to step it up on the tile damage not so much of a problem this guy isn't going to charge up in one turn anyway so we can afford to um, leave some purples for him And now I'm matching yellows like crazy because um, he is weak against yellows. So yellows will do the most tile damage. Um, if I press on him, you can see here these double green arrows on the yellow tiles. It means that... Sorry, I don't mean that. No, don't do that. Um, yeah, it means that you will get extra color affinity so let's do this just in case we can get aurora to charge well we didn't need it so there we go um maybe it would have helped if i had a green dragon as a healer and sigil i'm not sure maybe nika would have done the trick as well but Overall, three Zarkons, it's a bit overkill because you can't land that many ailments for three Zarkons. Two Zarkons, in my view, is already um, plenty of dot. 
So I hope this was ho helpful <laughs> and see you next time.